today I want to talk about integers and um, what they are and just a little bit of introduction to them. Integers are positive whole numbers and negative whole numbers and zero. So when you're on a number line, um, you look at zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, into infinity and beyond, like Toy Story, and also zero, negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five, all the way to infinity that way. Uh, and they're the opposites. One and negative one are opposite numbers. Two and negative two are considered opposite numbers. And integers are whole numbers. There can't be fractions or decimals when you are looking at integers. So one thing I wanted you to think about integers um, are the real life examples of integers and makes it kind of easy to understand to me when you think about them. Uh, when you think about temperature, you can uh, think about things that are uh, below zero, um, negative 22, when it's below zero, that's your negative integer uh, uh, for temperature. Uh, when you think of sea level, especially when we're here in Florida and we think of things below sea level, those are your negative numbers when it drops down like that and your um, above sea level are your positive numbers. So when it starts, your mountain ranges are your positive numbers. Uh, zero is your flat uh, level land and then below is your negative. Uh, when you think about your bank account, um, when you have money in your bank account, you're in the positive. When something goes wrong and you spend too much money, it's called overdrawing or overdrafting, you have a negative. You, if you only have uh, $10 in the bank and your parents write a $25 check, you're gonna have negative. You're gonna be in the negative. And um, that, it, that's another example of it. In a football game, you're thrown for negative yards. Uh, they, the quarterback is sacked for negative yards or something like that. So you can, you can have positive rushing yards or negative rushing yards. So there's some real life examples of seeing positive and negative numbers. And there's lots more. I just wanted to show you just these few. So I just wanted to give just a couple of examples as we kind of get introduced to some of these uh, terms and looking at some number lines. Now I showed you the first number line then these number lines I've just picked up at random spots. So here, zero is here. I can't even see the zero. It's way over there in this number line, and here's the zero here. So if I looked at this number line, and I started at three, and, um, and I wanted, and, I, and the quarterback was on the three-yard line, and... Um, he was sacked for a loss of two yards. He would go back two yards, one yard, two yard. He would end up here uh, on the one yard line. So that would, he would be going, he would lose two yards. So that, that's one way you could look at it. Um, if you were uh, very, very cold, if we were in the degrees, and we were looking, it was uh, four, uh, and below zero, four degrees, and it got even colder, it dropped, full, it dropped five more degrees during the night. If, if we started at four and it dropped five more, here's one, two, three, four, five. If it dropped five more degrees, it would become uh, negative nine or nine below zero degrees. It'd be very cold. I don't want to be there. So, um, if I have two dollars in the bank and I wrote a five dollar check, 
no, nah, that's not going to happen. So I, one, two, three, four, five, I'm going to be uh, in the bad for three dollars. So that's just kind of how you can look at the negative and positive numbers. So just a little bit of an introduction here. You're going to see some other videos this week also. Just wanting you to think about um, those negative and positive numbers uh, in different real life applications.